Hi, in this quick video we're just going to have a quick look at uh, what we did in class. Um, uh, I've got the HA running now um, and the failover on the shared IP using UCARP. So let's just get started. What I'm going to do is initiate a call to the free switch uh, conferencing server. So let's get that done first. Welcome to free switch, the future of telephony. You are now muted. You are currently the only person in this conference. Right, so that's now running on the uh, first server. I'm going to kill that off now, uh, just to escape that. Now I'm going to switch the car IP, um, but I'm going to use this command here to do that with, you can see on the left. So that should now switch the IP, kill the car on there, be picked up by the other server, and the call should resume, which it has done successfully. So now we've got that call there on the second server, let's just drop that. Right, let's bring free switch back up on the first, uh, the interface back up. Start a second call to the free switch conferencing server. Welcome to free switch, the future of telephony. You are now muted. You are currently the only person in this conference. Think. There we go. So again, do the same thing here. And we should see it get picked up on the other side any minute, any second. There you go, and that's it picked up back on the first server. Um, I'll just kill that call. Right, just one thing with this, this UCARP is in the class we set the original one, say the one on the left, to master. Um, I've disabled that. I don't want the master automatically resuming when it starts, and it's for this reason. If it automatically resumes at start, it will pick the call back up and resume it. But what happens is, as soon as the network interface has come up and CARP takes over that that first the the floating IP address, it takes it obviously the call from the second one. But at that point, free switch is not up, so we get a significant delay. Whereas if using this manual method here, which I'll be at a script, what we can actually do first is once we've repaired the broken master, we can bring it back online. And if we want it to resume the calls from the, let's say, what we call the backup, all we need to do now is issue this command and it will bring them up nicely because all the free switch components that are needed are ready. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.